This is the editing diary for Kayla Bolton and Amy Stone's video of Every Time You Go by Ellie Gordon. Um, we decided to start with a, a close-up of Amy's face lip syncing because we thought it would add a personal feel and start the, start the video off well because the viewers aren't going to know what they're going to, what's coming in the video. We also added the titles in the in the bottom corner because um, that's what the usual codes and conventions of music videos are when you watch music videos on MTV etc. They come in that corner. We made them small and white so they can be seen clearly but they don't take over the whole shot. We then added this image of uh, an over shoulder shot of Amy looking into a frame because the frame highlights the lyrics because um, that's what it says in the song and also it shows that there's going to be a relationship unfolding in the video as you can see in the picture. This shot was firstly videoed in the opposite way. Amy was picking up the photo frame from the desk, but whilst editing, we decided to reverse the shot so it was shown in the opposite way. So Amy was putting it down instead of picking it up because the lyrics say um, it's, it sits in your frame. So we thought it'd look better as sitting there and Amy's putting it back down. We sped this shot up to um, highlight the, uh, the um, letter. And then, so we could get more of the shot in if we sped it up. And then it cut straight to this shot of um, the name. It says Love Ellie, which is the name of the artist. And um, we was turning the shot to make it more interesting. And as the lyric says, it ends in my name. We thought we'd have that shot at that lyric. We chose this shot as it says it ends at so we thought the hand parting would be a good idea again this is highlighting the lyrics of touch We sped this shot up so we could make it more interesting because if it was just Amy walking in the field it would be quite boring. So we sped it up to make it look like more dramatic. We changed this shot because um, the previous shot Matt's walking out in anger and in this one it's a flashback of when on the second time they met me, which is in the lyric. So in this shot, it contrasts because Matt's leaving in, in good spirits, like the couple are happy at the time. We made this shot black and white as it was night time, so we thought it'd fit, fit the shot better. We slowed this shot down to make it um, more effective and here Amy looks at the camera which gives it a sort of home video sort of feel like they've recorded it themselves and it's a happy memory that they're looking back on as, the, as in previous shots it shows anger but here they're very happy and you can see that. Here we're just showing a change of location. We cut here to their feet, so it's not just a continuing shot of them walking, so it changes things up a bit and looks at their feet walking together. As the lyric says gently, we chose to fit the shot in so it fits well when their hands 
hold, it fits with the word gently. The word weakest, we put in this shot and we slowed it down to slow motion and made it black and white. So it looks like it's a sad time in her life. We also made these shots slow and black and white, which again highlights a bad time in her life. So we used this as a reoccurring shot, like we used it as a as a sort of theme for a bad time. We quickly cut from these shots to show the anger. That shot is also slowed down to show the more dramatic side of it. This shot where it says, I know what you're thinking in the lyrics, um, it's like a, a shot as if Amy's looking at Matt and this is her vision at the moment. Here again, we've got a slowed down shot and black and white for anger. Here we chose to use Amy lip syncing on her own on a plain wall to show that it's just her and so we can get a personal feel and we can just have her lyrics instead of other storyline happening at the same time. Here is the opposite of what we just saw, it's Matt's vision of Amy, so it t turns the tables sort of thing, so now we're seeing Matt's vision. And again, the opposite. We slowed this down as Matt miming to Amy, I love you, because it obviously gives it more of a romantic sort of feel, which fits the video well. Here is Amy laughing. We thought this would fit in, so it looks like she's looking back on the memory we've just shown and laughing about it as a happy time. This shot, we... The shot before we sped up to show Amy's nightmares sort of thing and she's tossing and turning so she can't sleep and she's looking back on these memories and although we've used black and white which previously has highlighted a happy time, this is con uh, previously showed a angry time, I mean, this contrast as it shows a happy time and it's night time so we thought it would fit well. Speed also shows Amy's struggle and we chose this extreme close up to show the closeness of the couple. Here you can see that I, um, in the lyrics it says stop my fall so Matt catches Amy before she falls which a lot of our movements in the video portray the lyrics very well and we've made sure we've fitted the lyrics as the story unfolds. Again we've slowed it down and used Amy's feet running instead of her body this time to show that she's running to get him and she's desperate. Here we've showed a shot from behind them in the car so we can see the front view out of the car and the sides of their faces in a second when they start pushing each other to show their anger. Um, we chose to use a cast for a change of location and to show a typical teenage life really. And um, We sped it up to make it more dramatic as well because you can see the speed in the car a lot more so it shows the anger. And then it quickly contrasts as this time they're pushing each other again and fighting again but it's in a light-hearted tone and they're clearly very happy as there's smiles on their faces. And instead of a, an argument, they're having a pillow fight. Here 
here we chose one of the well the last line of the song to just be Amy singing on her own as this is what it starts with so I thought we thought it'd be a good idea for this to be the ending as well and this final shot is like a is looking back on when the hands part at the at the beginning at the end they're coming back together again to show that their relationship is still strong um this is the end of the video and we thought this was a very powerful ending because now the viewers don't know whether the couple are going to stay together or break up so it leaves the, the audience on, a, on sort of a cliffhanger thank you for listening